in this video I'm going to do a utility maximization problem. We have this rather nasty looking utility function where x represents units of good x, y represents units of good y. We have the consumer's budget constraint right here. BC for short, that's the consumer's budget constraint. Consumer has $180. Price of good x is $10. Price of good y is $40. So let's maximize utility. First thing we need is the marginal utility of good x. We are going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good x. And we're going to get this result. I'm going to use a quotient rule here. So you may need to review the quotient rule. This will just simplify down to y squared in the numerator divided by x plus y squared in the denominator. Now let's get the marginal utility of good y. So following the quotient rule, we're just going to square everything in the denominator. And in the numerator here, we're going to get x. And then that's going to be multiplied by x plus y minus xy times 1. This will simplify down to x squared divided by x plus y squared. Okay, the next step is to put this information in our utility maximizing condition, which is given by the marginal utility of good x divided by the price of good x equal to the marginal utility of good y divided by the price of good y. So making our substitutions now, the marginal utility of good x we get this result here. That's all going to be divided by the price of good x, which is 10. We're going to set this equal to the marginal utility of good y. And we are going to divide that all by the price of good y, which is $40. Okay, now we just need to simplify this mess. Um, first thing to do is, well, if we multiply everything through by 40, 40 here and a 40 over here, uh, we're going to be left with 4y squared over x plus y squared equals x squared over x plus y squared. Okay, so 40 divided by 10 is where the 40 is coming from. These 40s, of course, cancel. And the next thing we can just multiply through by the denominator here. Okay, so multiply everything through by x plus y squared. This simplifies to 4y squared equals x squared and if we take the square root of both sides, just solving for x, taking the square root of both sides, x will equal 2y. Okay, so the next step is to plug this into the budget constraint. Okay, we're going to plug that into the budget constraint, which was 180 equals 10x plus 40y. So let me go down over here and do that. So our budget constraint was 180 equals 10x 
Well, x is just 2y, so I'm just going to make that substitution. Plus uh, 40y. So we get 180 equals, well, 60y. 20y plus 40y. y equals 3. And this means that x, since x is 2 times y, x will be 2 times 3 or 6. That would be our utility maximizing consumption bundle. Consumer would choose to buy 6 units of good x at $10 a piece and 3 units of good y at $40 a piece. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.